especially after the COVID and the last three, four years, employee experience is the most important or the, has the paramount in terms of the importance for any organization. Okay. And, uh, you know, what we have seen uh, most companies, uh, you know, is becoming as they become a technology company, as well as uh, HR becoming core, uh, one of the things which touch across the complete, uh, uh, you know, organization is HR. And that's where probably they think that, uh, you know, doing uh, something around expense or travel, which is very frugal and, uh, you know, any way very, uh, I think, uh, iterative process can be addressed by any technology means help them reduce or improve the productivity. That's a thought process. And as we speak, I think uh, in India, we have more than 14,000 customers. And in all of the customers, whether it's the conservative old business houses or the new age companies like Unicorn, HR and the importance and how can they improve the productivity is becoming one of the hottest topics in the board, board discussions. That's a very interesting question and actually, uh, you know, quite, uh, uh, you know, I think if you see uh, some, you know, a year back was, uh, 2021 was the great resignation resignation year. And uh, now is a year when, uh, 2023, when companies are actually doing a lot of layoffs. Now, what, what has happened is uh, the organizations are focusing on technology where they want to ensure that employee being well-being is taken care which does not mean that giving the extra money but making sure that he or she is welcome at the workplace and as well as respected and enjoy it okay and that's where the technology piece comes in now if you you know drill down on this there's not much cost involved with it it is actually creating a holistic culture and something which is uh, which every employee is looking for so if you know people like you and me also when i go to the office if I feel there is a collaboration happening. I've been taking care of the organization. I, I am able to connect with the people, people here. Uh, attrition is the last thing that we come on my mind. So companies are investing on these softer aspects or leveraging the technology to address these pain points rather than the other part. And that's where, you know, I think in my view, what I've seen is if these kind of, uh, these all initiate uh, attributes are addressed attention goes much, much lower than. Even in I concur, I think uh, uh, we hardly have attention in the last three years. And even at an SAP level, it's been, uh, you know, I think around, uh, it's it's at an industry level. But, uh, we are not beyond the industry levels. So this, this is the way I think the industry and the organizations are moving forward. That's a, that's a theme uh, of today's word, I think. Uh, so maybe I'll just, uh, uh, I'll give an example of uh, we as an organization. Uh, so I represent a company called Conquer. Uh, it's a travel expense and invoice solution. Uh, we are, I think, uh, we has over around 60% market share globally. Uh, in India, we have around 1,500 plus customers, uh, which are Conquer. Obviously, there are some 12,000 plus, which is SAP. Now, in our case also, uh, how are we managing or leveraging the AI and ML? Uh, uh, to help customers address their cost of operations and also the productivity. Three, four areas. One, the basic part, how do we manage the compliance? If there are rules, if there are inbuilt AI and ML logics we can build, that can help companies to build some checks that helps in compliance. It's, it's what the company is looking for. Second, is there a way we can work on the second aspect of this after compliance, the auditing? Can we build some, you know, AL, ML algorithms that helps in finding and doing the right audit auditing, helps and maybe also reduce the manual power of that. The third part is the reimbursement or probably the ending of the process or the inclusion of the process. Now, uh, if we can build some uh, bots, which, which actually we also leverage some of the, you know, additional partner systems that if we can build some bots for a reimbursement or maybe a smoothing that process, that also helps from a technology part. So, you know, this is how I feel. And I'm just, I just an example of a Kankar, how Kankar is leverages AI and ML helping organizations. So this is the three aspects 
Hope this helps or answers your question. You know, I think I've answered uh, some bit of it. Uh, see, in my view, what is happening is uh, we are in 2023. As we move forward in the next three years or, or so, two things will become quite important. One is compliance. Whatever we do, it is going to be the most important thing at a CFO or FD level, uh, uh, you know, to ensure that everybody follows the compliance and he doesn't have, he or she doesn't have to spend time uh, managing or explaining people why to do that and the second is the cost okay uh, because as we grow as an economy the growth uh, growth is there but people would want to ensure that the bottom line is maintained and that's where the technology comes and i talked about the areas so you know i'll go beyond uh, you know kankar and i'll talk about it so there are three ways where we see the technology companies helping from a cost uh, bringing the cost efficiency it could be one you know improving the productivity of a people and that helps in reduction of some cost here and there, whether it's a HR cost or maybe the other uh, uh, you know, peripheral costs. The second is, uh, you know, streamlining the overall process in technology. You know, there are still a lot of uh, loopholes or uh, there's people are working or the teams are working or there are a lot of actions happening in silos. If technology can bring everybody, everything together and remove that silos, there's a huge amount of a cost optimization that happens. And the third part uh, is, is more on the experience part. Okay, and we touched it in the first part. Uh, as it has become more and more important, now companies, if really focus on whether it's a customer experience, whether it's an employee experience, or whether there is a uh, you know supplier experience, the 360 degree view. If they focus on the experience piece, uh, they feel that overall productivity, overall cost efficiency goes up by I think 30 percent or so. So that's where and that's where the technology comes in. So these are the three areas where I feel or what I see uh, when I speak to the leaders in the industry, where technology is helping with bringing cost efficiency in the organizations. Yeah, it's a very interesting piece. Uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll step back and share what's happening or what has happened in the last three or four years. See, first, COVID had made us realize that technology is there to stay. So everyone start using it. The second, what has happened is a trend is uh, not only for a core, everybody needs to start using technology, whether you and I in my app, uh, we have so many apps or in the corporate world or even the, in the manufacturing world. So, you know, it is becoming part of our everyday life. So that's where it is happening. The next part where I see the transition happening, somewhere it happening, but a lot of work is done is, is more on the UI and the user experience. Okay. How do we seamlessly navigate and interact with all the stakeholders? How do we make the experience more enriching? Is an area where we'll see a lot of technology action happening and you know a lot of innovations happening. Because you know, in the end, uh, whatever the the the, uh, the amount of innovation or the outcome is is is, is, is you know is, is is related to either to the expected amount of the growth in that organization or the, it it directly goes to the you know how it can improve the cost efficiency in that company so in my view the experience piece whether it's the ui and all will going to be and all the organizations whether company companies how do we you know and the areas where they can they can actually improve is one how do you reduce the multiple touch points how can people can seamlessly go from one to three, you know, all different touch points? Is there a way we can get some amount of our AI and ML to ensure that they, we can, they can direct or navigate, help people navigate through these points? So, you know, that's an area and a direction where we see a lot of action happening and maybe a future.